All right, so first of all, I would like to say a very big thank you to all our Tommy subscribers. So um, we are still in the beginner's phase of this channel. So um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the South Korean flag um, using your latest version of Photoshop CC 2022. Um, now we've gone to normally if you've been following our previous tutorials uh, you know there is nothing much to it than just some creating your normal documents uh, we're going to be using the black background hit the ok uh, for this tutorial so that we can see what we are doing so now we're going to go to the rectangle shape just like in our previous tutorials of making flags um the reason why i'm actually making flags um, so that beginners can actually keep up um, on this channel before we enter the the harder faces because making flags, um, designing um, football logos and everything it's, it makes it very easy for beginners to be able to comprehend so what we are basically doing is just rescaling and resizing our rectangle shape uh, for this I'm using whites because um, the South Korean flag is actually white and I'm going to be showing you guys some um, some tricks and some tips that will make you uh, that will actually make your flag very faster or your logo creation very faster so we'll go ahead and create our circle as you can see um, the layout of the Photoshop CC is very easy so uh, let's use our red hits the OK um, ok let's resize and uh, no need to rescale this I think it's a perfect um, circle size so let's just leave it at the middle and um, grab our pen tool then we'll start um, drawing uh, like um, the shape there is a shape there is one kind blue shape that is on the South Korean flag so that is what I'm actually trying to do using the pen tool so you can just follow how I click and how I try to draw the shape uh, remember um, if you start looking awkward like this the next thing you have to do is use the clipping marks tool uh, let's go for something blue something blue let's hit the ok button now go in between the up and the down hold the alt and click enter and this is what you should be getting it's called using the clipping marks tool if you've been following this channel for a very long time now or for a while you should know basically what we use on this channel in making logos is our clipping marks so, so you can go ahead and group this and name it uh, whatever you like just name it something that you can actually recall or remember later on so there you have it um, okay let's start creating our shapes um, use the rectangle tool and basically we are going to be duplicating layers by hitting ctrl j so um hit ctrl j go to your move tool and arrange it the way i'm arranging it we are going to be doing the same thing for the other parts of this logo making so you can just follow my steps there is nothing much to it just duplicate um make it bigger then you can start placing it exactly where they should be duplicate the group also um, name it whatever you like so let's move this down let's move it down let's move it down you can use your arrow key on your keyboard you can use your arrow key on your keyboard so um, let's zoom in so that we can see exactly what we're doing 
uh, I want us to merge this group because um, we are going to be changing the positions of this group and we are going to be deleting some parts so merge it um, go to the rectangle selection tool as you can see my tool is placed on the rectangle selection tool you can just mark the place you want it to be then hit the delete button that was what I did there so we are still going to be doing it for other places so like I said duplicate the group again um, go to the selection rectangle tool place it like this and hit delete on your keyboard and there you have it uh, I think it's remaining one let's go ahead and merge it again duplicate by hitting ctrl J uh, let's rename it you can name your own to whatever you like doesn't mean what you name it just make sure you can remember what you use okay uh, for this also we are going to be using the rectangle tool the, my rectangle rectangle selection tool sorry then hit on delete again just like we did in the previous ones you can shift that to the left hand side and hit delete again and that is it um we're almost done with this the only thing we have to do now is we have to start changing their positions like it is in their logo so um we're done with that hit the ok take the second part you can press ctrl t for automatic um selecting the whole place so that you can actually change the position and the way it is just like this okay take that part to let's zoom out so we can see what we are doing let's take the top parts somewhere around here is okay don't forget to hit your ctrl c then let's put it this way arrange it very well it's the okay now for the last part let's move it this way and take it down and that's just basically it we are done with the logo there is nothing hard there okay um, you can just go ahead and check your work but there is something I don't like um, our circle that's the blue parts that we drew we can adjust that I don't like that part so let's go and double click on that okay uh, let's grab our pencil let's zoom in so that we can see what we're about to do grab your pencil and let's adjust this area let's adjust the middle this area too okay let's take here down a bit i think it's looking much more better okay um, let's take this in take this pass okay uh, let's take it a little bit to the side Alright, so um, when you're done with your results, you can zoom out and that's it guys, you're done with the look. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, I hope um, you understand uh, what we've done. I would have urged you guys to like go to the first tutorial on how I explained how the tools works and um, the previous um flags that we've done so far on this channel i uh, won't be doing flags 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 you understand the reason why i'm doing all this is just to teach you guys the basic 
uh, function of Photoshop, like the basic tool, like the rectangle tool, the selection tool, um, how you can easily clip, um, use the clipping marks to clip something, um, to put an image inside of another um, image or a layer inside of another layer. That is one function of the clipping marks tool. So, um, at the end of my tutorials, I always like to advise um, you beginners that are just um, coming up and learning, uh, that want to learn everything about Photoshop. Um, Photoshop is a very easy software. Um, the name Photoshop just makes it look uh, <laughs> as if it's hard because it's actually legendary. Um, I have um, a very good history with Adobe Photoshop. Is one software that is very very um, versatile like um, you think you know it's all but um, every single day you practice you actually learn new new stuff like me now I have over um, 17 years of experience now because I actually started Photoshop um, at a very tender age I think I was still in school then so um, I just want to make sure you guys on this channel get the best knowledge so please and please just in case you're actually watching this channel for the first time um, you can help me um, click on that subscribe button it won't cost you anything it's actually it's actually free I think that's the least you can do for me because I'm putting um, a lot of time and energy into my tutorials so as you can see we just made a, a very clean sweet looking South Korean logo um, this is actually something you can do for companies and you're really going to cash out very well you can charge them any amounts you like um, as long as your work looks this neat well arranged and um, professional um, all these things are something that you can actually just uh, do for fun editing is fun actually when you start editing it's, it's fun you just um, use it to pass time while you sip your juice and you're working for your clients and you're actually making cool money off it like if you go to Fiverr you know I always say something about Fiverr when you go to Fiverr you see a lot of people that are looking for um, graphics designers um, illustrators and all um, from time to time, I'm going to be diving into some other editing aspects like um, Illustrator. I'll teach you guys how you can use um, your Photoshop Illustrator to also make um, these kinds of logo. But um, I find it very, very easy to use Photoshop in making stuff like this. Like, um, it's very, very easy. You can easily um, do your shapes. Um, merge it, um, you know, all these fast, fast tips and tricks that you can actually do in Photoshop. So, um, like I said, try and subscribe to this channel so that when next that I post new stuff, you'll actually be the first person to see it. And uh, make sure you turn on that bell notification because it's what is going to notify you anytime that I actually drop um, a new video. So um, the comment section is actually meant for you guys that have questions to ask. Um, just go to the comment section in case you got lost anywhere while we're making this simple tutorial. <laughs> um, I don't mind re-explaining it to you guys. I'm a very patient person. I'll just tell you guys how you can actually go about it. And also if there are some other aspect of um, Photoshop that you like me to treat, like some other things that you like me to explain more to you guys. Um, if it's um, making shapes, uh, maybe the clipping marks. I think I've already done the tutorial on that one. So um, if you're actually following the um, following up this channel, you know that I've done that already for you guys. So all you just have to do is um you just have to check out our previous tutorials that we've made so far 
so um i really want to appreciate um, my returning subscribers you guys are the bomb you always come back to check on my new new stuff god bless you and see you in the next tutorial